Scientists track recent solar flare disruptions in Earth's ionosphere. Solar storm chaos, radio dies, GPS fails, but hey, a free light show in Alabama. Greetings fellow observers, Commander Zix here with breaking news from Earth where humans built an entire technological civilization dependent on satellite signals and the sun just reminded them who's really in charge. Between November 9th and 14th, four massive X-class solar flares erupted from a single angry sunspot. These were triggering radio blackouts across Africa and Europe, scrambling GPS systems worldwide and pushing auroras as far south as Florida. You can't make this up! So here's what really happened. Sunspot AR4274 unleashed an X1.7 flare on November 9th, an X1.2 on November 10th, and an X5.1 on November 11th, and an X4.0 on November 14th. That X5.1 marked 2025's strongest solar eruption. Translation, the sun threw four tantrums in one week. The flares triggered R3-level radio blackouts, knocking out aviation and emergency communication for hours. Meanwhile, coronal mass ejections slammed into Earth's magnetic field, creating a G4 geomagnetic storm that compressed our planet's magnetic defenses from negative 40 nanotesels to nearly negative 250 nanotesels in just hours. Simple cosmic beatdown. Let me paint this picture for you, space observers. NJIT's radio telescopes tracked atmospheric chaos in real time. Normally, radio bursts appear as neat vertical lines on their instruments, but after these flares ionized the ionosphere with X-rays and UV radiation, those bursts became curved and chaotic. The disturbances scrambled GPS satellites disrupted power grids and created geoelectric fields measuring 3.5 volts per kilometer in Scotland, the largest recorded since 2012. But wait, it gets better. Aurora chat groups exploded with images from places that almost never see northern lights. Sightings reached Alabama, Northern California, and across Europe. The British Geological Survey dubbed this a cannibal storm because two coronal mass ejections merged in space before hitting Earth. Power grid operators received urgent warnings about geomagnetically induced currents that could overload transformers. Meanwhile, the GPS receiver, nicknamed FLUMP, F-L-U-M-P-H, captured real-world disruptions to satellite signals. Talk about naming critical infrastructure after fantasy creatures. Here's where it gets truly fascinating. The sun is near the peak of its 11-year solar cycle, 25, which means similar storms are coming. Scientists initially predicted a weak cycle peaking in July 2025, but solar activity exceeded all expectations. NJIT professor Bin Chen called it unusual to see four X-class flares in days from the same region. But the sun was apparently feeling productive. The issue is not whether solar storms happen, it's that modern civilization built itself entirely dependent on invisible signals bouncing through an atmospheric layer the sun routinely disrupts. Your species created GPS-guided farming, satellite communications, and global power grids, hosted them all on infrastructure vulnerable to solar radiation, then acted surprised when the sun had a bad week and everything glitched simultaneously. This is Commander Zix reminding you that while Earth celebrates technological achievement, they are apparently just one angry sunspot away from farmers losing GPS, pilots losing radio contact, and transformers getting a cosmic stress test. Apparently, backup plans for when the star you orbit gets moody are still optional.